everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at another peak refuel ration. This is beef stroganoff. Uh, let's see, what was our last one? I think it was like spaghetti and meat sauce maybe, something like that. Beef stroganoff is, I don't know, I like beef stroganoff. Um, Mountain House makes a really good one. I'm trying to think if I've had any others recently, but Mountain House is always kind of the one. So we're going to try this out. This is a two serving meal, uh, beef rotini noodles and mushrooms with cream sauce. Nutritional facts, big whopping 810 calories for the entire package, which is just insane. That's a lot. Ingredients list, reasonably small ingredients list there, nothing super crazy that uh, jumps out, which is good. Uh, I don't know, story, if you like those. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, let's open her up and, and see if this is any good. Yeah, there we go. And taking out oxygen absorber. Okay. Hmm, it smells okay. Kind of, uh, I don't know, sometimes you open these and the smell, you know, really smells good, and then other times it's like, yeah, meh. That was kind of a meh smell. Ooh, really? Wow, okay. It really killed that water. Definitely not enough. Stroganoff's kind of a weird one, I guess. It's definitely not one that I want super soupy. So, ooh, and now we're now we're getting some good smells. Just needed to, you know, <laughs> get everything mixed together. So this is kind of one that I definitely sort of want a little bit thicker. There's some nice sized mushrooms in there. Gosh, generally when anything ever adds mushrooms, it's like you just wind up with little tiny pieces of mushrooms. Yeah, we'll add a little bit more, because that's already tightening up pretty nicely. Yeah, no, that's more than enough, probably. So that should, uh, that should tighten up pretty good, I'm hoping. And obviously those noodles will absorb a little bit of that there and the meat and everything. We actually get some nice looking meat chunks in there too. And this one could be pretty darn good. This is only really my second one of these that I've had. I just, you know, haven't done much. I. These usually hover right around, you know, thirteen, fifteen dollars, uh, something of, you know, to that effect, um, which is a little high, uh, you know, in comparison to certain other meals, which are uh, a little bit cheaper. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna let this sit and uh, tighten up a little bit, and then we will come back, get it on the tray, and taste it. So our stroganoff has been sitting for a little bit now. I did take a peek in there about midway, nice and thickened up there. I think <laughs> that's how stroganoff should be, right? Just a big old blob. Nah. Yeah, I like uh, a little bit thicker on the stroganoff, but you know, there again, you could go thinner on this and, you know, space it out a little bit, but my God, look at these mushrooms. Like this is an actual like piece of mushroom. That's awesome. Let's just get a hunk. Let's go. That's nice. I will say, so they did list like, you know, sour cream, so like powdered sour cream. Um, I would say you probably could have done a little bit less in here. It is a little sharp. I don't mind, but you could have probably went a little bit less on that. I'm loving this mushroom. I'm trying to find, there we go. There's a little beef cube. Oh, there went a noodle. There's a beef cube right there. That's quite, yeah, it's really good. It, it's um, super nice, creamy. You know, you, you definitely get the beef in there. Um, the noodles are nice. They're not, uh, they're not real mushy. Noodles, unfortunately, they do get mushy in this sort of thing. 
These aren't bad at all. I think it's pretty well balanced. Like I said, just a little bit less on that sour cream, but I don't think it needs any salt. I, I, I can probably run with a little bit of pepper, a little bit more pepper in this bad boy. And you know, you, you have just the right amount of mushrooms as well. One thing, however, I do do, <laughs> do do, I will do, <laughs> Microsoft Word would hate me right now, they'd be underlining two do's in one sentence, you can't possibly do that, but anyway, what I will do is uh, put a little Tabasco in this just to give a little bit of a kick, or any hot sauce, just like on our Wednesday heat checks, you can use any hot sauce you like. And I won't, I won't say a darn thing. I'll just let you do it. Let's try a little bit of uh, Tabasco there. Yeah, that's nice. Gives it a little extra added dimension. Yeah, I could eat this all day. I just love stroganoff, but I can't remember how I like the, the other peak I did. But I really like this one. I'll say, I actually think, oh geez, <laughs> some just tried to pop out of the old mouth. Some people have trouble, you know, getting it in their mouth, so I have trouble keeping it, apparently. I would, I would almost say, I think this might be better than the, than the Mountain House. Guys, it's been a while since I've had a Mountain House stroganoff. I'm going to have to go back and check on that, see if I can't find one. I don't even know if I've done a video of it. But yeah, this is very good. It might be, might be a little bit better. Um, yeah, but anyway, very good, nice and creamy. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I'm going to, I'm going to eat a little bit more. Is that okay with you guys? Mm. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Hearty, stick to your ribs. You know, very good, you know, winter, you know, fall going into winter food there you go but yeah I can't remember what I what I rated the uh, the other peak I did if I like that better than anything else but I just I just think because again I think on the the mountain house one I think it just had less little meat chunks and less mushrooms I mean like actual good sized mushrooms yeah, they really put some time in here. It, now, is it this one was twelve ninety nine, I believe, so thirteen bucks. Uh, is it worth thirteen bucks? Maybe depends. Maybe, maybe. But um, yeah, if I if I needed a stroganoff, you know, just for the trail, I might go with this one. So anyway. Um, let me know what you thought about it. Leave a comment down below. As always, hit the old uh, like button for me. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. But for those of you who are subscribed, special thank you. I really do appreciate you guys uh, watching the videos, you know, constantly. And a lot of repeat, repeat folks, uh, you know, going in and out. So thank you all very much. And uh, that's about it for today. So we will catch you on the next one. See ya.